right sometimes when you drink enough other beer maybe not high quality beer you forget your name don't you no no it's not that it's not that <laughs> anyways guys we're back with another beer review for you and tonight we're going to do another fine beer from firestone walker it's one of their reserve series which one we got here tonight johnny uh their porter robust porter oh it's robust porter i am sorry it is a American Porter. It is available year-round. It is ABV 5.8 and IBU of 45. It's made with seven different malts, one oat, three hops, and its fermentation is a barrel system. So, mm -hmm. as with anything that we drink from Firestone Walker, it's pretty damn good. Uh, haven't really can say gone wrong with anything they have so nothing at all yeah let's let's do this let's pop this open let's get our beer on tonight we got the new bottle opener direct from i don't even remember where i got it but came oh. from ebay let's see if we can know how to work it here asia Woo! oh look at that nice. little magnet action too oh damn that smells nice already so what do we say right beer what do you think Oh, 100? No, no. No. Must be a bad beer. 97. Oh, 97? Okay. Yeah. Beer Advocate? Uh, 88? Close. 87. It's pretty sad since he wrote the numbers down. I don't remember <laughs> how long ago I wrote that shit. I, I buy beer like a crazy beer hoarder. You know that. Yes. But don't we all in craft beer world, guys? Yes. Why not? Think about it like this. We could all have worse habits, right? You could be drinking malt liquor seven days a week. Malt oh. liquor seven days a week. You know, you guys know who you are doing that, don't you? Right. Anyways, cheers. Let's get a nose on this bad boy. Cheers. Hmm, a lot of roast. I smell Sweet some malt. Floralness, but I don't know what that's from. Bit of chocolate, toffee. You can smell the barrel, too. And dark fruits. That's what I get out of it. See, we got solid head, instant glass lacing, no alcohol legs of 5.8%, but nice khaki off white head. You guys can get a look at it. Yeah, you can solid get a look ass at beer. Me. I'm, I'm oh, going to drink it. He's getting a drink. Let's see what we got going on. Man, it's damn good. It is very good. Gotta wow. love my porters. Wow. Uh, the the chocolate the coffee definitely comes out really wow. strong really nice you know it is robust it's not robust ABV wise but man the flavor is really robust on this and in this taste this porter tasting like this I can tell this is coming from I think the you know one of the brewers the guys that make up Firestone Walker he's yeah. a he's a British fellow and I think that's where this is coming from because a lot of American porters that are high ABV do not have this much flavor. Man, it's big. It's coffee, dark fruits, dark chocolate, and like a coffee bitter aftertaste. But man, it goes down really freaking easy. It's it's nice and smooth. A little thin, but you know, mm -hmm. not, nothing to take away. I mean, it's got big flavor. Uh, really, really excellent uh, porter for Firestone Walker. I, I definitely agree. I like this a lot. This is better than a lot of stouts that I've had mm -hmm. from, from other brewers. I mean, real big, deep, deep flavor in this. And I, it's got to come from, from the barrel you know, barrel fermentation of this beer. That's, that's what's bringing it out. So many other batches before it, you know, that flavor gets imparted. You kind of get a history flavor kind of into the beer. And this freaking blows away a lot of other American porters that you touch, like I said, of higher ABV and supposedly bigger flavor. The oakiness, uh, you know, I, I taste, I taste the wow. quercus in it, which is oak for all you non-tree people. But 
funny thing about this is you could slam this down pretty fast, like session. Yeah, this is. And it's definitely. it's not that high ABV. I mean, it's five point eight percent now. For some of the folks out there who'd be sticking to some, you know, just regular old malt liquor or something like that, maybe some Bud Light Platinum or whatever, this is about where you add in your ABV top top rank. But, anyways, mighty fine taste in beer. Um, it's nice to get back into the craft beer. That's right. We've been, we've been drinking on some malt liquor and some of that shit for a little while here, and now we're back into the real deal. Um, don't get me wrong. Much respect to you, malt liquor drinking guys. If that's all you can afford and you're still drinking, hey, awesome. Drink it. But if you can afford this, you know, buy up a little bit because your palate's going to be happy and you're going to be happy. But what level grade do you give this, man? Uh, give this an A minus. A minus? I think I'm running an A minus too. I, it's it's not an 87. It's higher than that. It's yeah. not a not a 97. Nope. It's it's like that 91, 92 area exactly. that A minus. But really solid porter. Better than a lot of the other ones that I've had, and better than a lot of people's stouts out there. So definitely agree. You guys can find it. Give it a try. You want us to uh, you know review another beer? Let us know if we can find it. We will. If not, we'll trade for it. See what we can do. But you know we'll do what we can to get it done for you. Um, thanks a million for watching, and as we always say, think locally, drink locally. This ain't local, but this is pretty fucking good, so we're still going to drink it. We're going out Cali style with this one. Until the next time. We're drinking fools, and peace out. Peace out.